Welcome to this Fix It Quick video. Today I'm going to show you how to add a bank's back loan or any other bank loan to Free Agent. This is Sarah's Marketing Magic and Sarah has taken out a bounce back loan and she wants to be able to record it in Free Agent. Um, although bounce back loan is very topical at the moment, this would work for any other kind of bank loan. It's exactly the same. So the first thing we're going to do is go into her business current account. And if we scroll down, we should be able to see that here's where she was paid the money for the bounce back loan. This one happens to be from Barclays. Um, so there it is uh, coming into our main bank account. So the way we need to deal with this is we need to set up a separate bank account for the loan. So what we're going to do is go into her main banking and we can see that at the moment she's got a current account, a savings account and a cash account and we're just going to add a new one. So if we go up to new bank account and we're going to call it a Barclays bounce back loan. Uh, it, because it's not actually going to have a bank feed or be directly uh, attached to anything, it's just going to be something we manually create. We don't have to fill in any of the rest of this stuff and we just can just click create new account. And it should set up the account. There you go. All set up. So now we just need to move the money into the, the new account. So if we go up here, um, a quick tip is if you uh, ever want to move between bank accounts, you can just press on the little arrow at the side and toggle between them without the main menu so it's much quicker. That saves a lot of time sometimes. So if we go into business current account, we can scroll down and find the payment that she received for the bank. And if we just click on that payment, um, because it's considering that the loan is another bank account, what we're actually going to do is say it's a transfer from another account. It has selected the Barclays loan account, but if we just click on the little arrow, we could select any of them. Uh, so we're going to select the Barclays bounce back loan and we're going to explain the transaction. So it all goes green. It's all happy. Uh, if we go back and have a look in the new loan account, we can see what free agent has done. And free agents created a manual entry. Uh, move the money and now we have a, a, a negative balance of in the loan account of how much money we owe. Um, so free agent will now show that we owe somebody and in this case Barclays £6,000. The next part of, of obviously maintaining the loan would be to add any interest that we're charged and to add any payments that we make to reduce the balance. Understandably, for the bounce back, most people won't be doing anything for a year, but just for this uh, demonstration, uh, let's say Sarah's received a statement saying she was charged £50 interest. In order to add the interest, we're going to go up to more and add transaction. We're going to change it to a payment because this will be an expense. We can change the date to the end of the month and say she's been charged £50. Interest doesn't have that, so we put that to a zero. And there is a transaction, um, sorry, a cost category, bank finance charges. And then we should just be able to type in Barclays loan interest. And then we go down to the bottom and do create and finish. We can see that it has added an expense to the account and it's increased the balance of money that she owes by £50. Um, there you go. Uh, the last thing that we're going to want to be able to do is to show her paying some of the money back. So if we again go back into the business current account, because that's where she's going to pay them. Uh, if we scroll to the bottom, there she, she has made a payment at the end of the month. She's paid back £200. So again, what we're going to do uh, is describe this as a transfer to another account, the Barclays bounce back loan account and explain the transaction. And when we go back onto the other um, account, again using the shortcut, we should be able to see that it's reduced the balance of the money that she owes. So there's the interest, there's the payment, and she can see now that she only owes Barclays £5,850. Uh, this is a, an ideal way to reflect what's going on so that you know how much money is outstanding at all times uh, on the loan. Uh, you can monitor all the repayments. If, for example, they sent a statement and they've missed a repayment, you'd be able to prove to them um, 
that that you don't know them as much as they think. Um, you can also, if, if at any point you want to pay off the balance of the loan, you should be able to tell uh, what balance is remaining. So I hope this has been helpful. If this has been helpful, please like it below and subscribe to our channels to see more of our videos. And if you need a free agent friendly accountant that's easy to talk to, please get in touch. Thanks for watching.